I'm just about to reveal how you guys can start making an extra three or even four figures per month with the help of a relatively unknown business model that is called AdSense Arbitrage. Most people don't even know about it. And now I'm about to walk you through the entire process one step at a time. So let's get started. We're going to make use of Google Ads in order to make this work and make some profits, but you do not have to be a Google Ads expert to make this work. All you gotta do is follow my instructions and that is relatively easy. Now guys, we need to understand the concept of price arbitrage right off the bat. That is all about exploiting the difference in prices between identical assets in two or more different markets. You will understand exactly what that means in a second. It sounds difficult, but it really isn't. Here is what I want you to do first and foremost. I want you to open a new Google tab and type in something along the lines of five things you didn't know about. Now, I want you to take a look at all of these different results right here. Things you didn't know about Google, Minecraft, Martin Luther King, and so on and so forth. But this may not be enough. Ideally, you want to pick some of the most popular topics out there. These are subjects that everybody is interested in. In other words, just ask yourself this question. If you saw this title on a web page, would you click on it? And if the answer is yes, then that is the perfect title to go for. Otherwise, you still need to keep searching. But I'm gonna make the process way easier for you. Here's a shortcut. What you can do is connect to youautocompleteme.io and type in that text. Five things you didn't know about. And then let's just click on this button. This tool is basically going to do the work for you. Instead of you having to go out there and search for the results, it is going to do the same thing and sort them alphabetically, which is way more convenient. Take a look at this. Five things you didn't know you could build in Minecraft. Five things you didn't know about GTA 5. Here's another one. Five things you probably didn't know about Skyrim. But we're not just gonna pick a random one. Instead, we want to check whether or not this is a popular topic. And I'm about to walk you through that process too. Here's a really good one. Five things you didn't know about Mercedes-Benz. I'm just gonna copy that title and then double check whether or not it is a suitable one. If it's not, we're gonna move on to the next one. That's an important thing, so it is basically pointless to cover a topic that people are not interested in, right? What I want you guys to do up next is head over to Google Trends and paste that in. Let's just hit enter and see what shows up. As you can see, the interest in this search term over time has been pretty high. It is close to 100. Everybody is interested in this topic. And for the reason, this is just a perfect candidate for our method. So let's just copy that idea and move forward. And when it comes to the next step of the process, there are a few things you could do. First and foremost, you can open a new Google tab, paste that in and take a look at the articles that show up. Or here's an even better one. You can head over to YouTube and find a video about it. Five things you didn't know about your Mercedes-Benz. Now that is even better. Or here's another one. Top five hidden features of Mercedes-Benz you didn't know about. There are so many different videos we can make use of here. But guys, do not get me wrong. This process is going to be effortless. However, it will take some time. That is because we need to collect some actually valuable information to bring forward to our viewers. You will understand exactly what I mean in a second. And you will also understand precisely why we are getting paid. Because don't worry about it. I'm not going to ask you to launch your own product online. I'm not going to ask you to do affiliate marketing or sell anything. We're going to make money without selling a single product, if you can believe that. Let me copy the title of the first one. They made the hybrid vehicle in 1906. Once I've done that, what I want to do is connect to googlesites.com and create a new one. Don't worry about it. You do not need to have any solid coding skills or web development skills to make this work. Google Sites is one of the most beginner friendly website builders out there and it is available for free, which makes everything way better. I've just pasted in the title and now I'm going to make sure that it actually looks good. You're in full control here, so you can play around with everything. Now let's also change the background image and you can search for a relevant one right here without leaving the website. At the end of the day, this is powered by Google. So they are going to help you out. So I'm just going to type in hybrid vehicle and see what I can find out. What about this one? That actually looks pretty good. And there you go. One, they made a hybrid vehicle in 1906. And now guys, I've just gone back over to youtube.com and search for it. And there you go. This seems to be the actual hybrid vehicle that Mercedes-Benz built back in 1906. So what I can do is just copy the link to this particular video right here and actually add it onto my website. All I gotta do is click on the embed feature, then paste in the URL and insert it. What people can do now is watch this video without even leaving the website. But that is not enough. We also want to add some text. And additionally, you may want to paste some pictures as well. When it comes to this particular method that I'm covering today, it is all about quality and not necessarily quantity. What we want to do is keep people engaged. If the first slide right here is a really engaging one and it offers some actual value, people are gonna stay. 
and they're gonna watch the next one and then the next one and so on and so forth the longer we can keep people engaged the more money we're gonna make and so what i'm gonna do right now is download this picture onto my device and use that as well or i can just copy the image address and paste it that is gonna save some time and then i can just keep writing about it but now here's the most important part so you've just created the slide where people can watch a video, read about this topic, and so on and so forth. So you've actually made sure to provide some valuable content. That part is covered. But we're not going to stop here. Instead of creating a single slide, we're going to create multiple of these. And in order to make that happen, what you got to do is head over to the Insert tab, and then select the button. And we're going to add two of those. One that says Previous, and one that says Next. But when it comes to the link, we do not have that just yet. We're gonna get it in a second. Guys, we cannot start our presentation with the first one. We need to have a cover for our presentation as well, so let's create that. It's only gonna take a couple of seconds. And when it comes to this design, it's gonna be something really basic. You just wanna paste in the title, choose a suitable visual, and then add a button. You wanna label it next, and when it comes to the link, you wanna head back over to the first slide and copy the link to this one. In order to grab that, you would have to publish it first. Now, we can also add a web address. Let's go for Mercedes-Benz 1. I'm gonna copy the published site link, there you go, and head back over to the cover page. Let's paste that in and click insert. And believe it or not, this button right here is fully functional. If people click on it, they will be redirected straight over to that website we've just created. Now, you can also customize it if you want to, but let's not waste too much time on that. I think this looks pretty good. Let's actually preview it and see whether or not it works. This is what the published website would look like. And what I gotta do right now is click on this button and that will take me straight over to the other page. There you go. They made a hybrid vehicle in 1906. Now people can watch this video right here. It is fully functional. They can read about the topic. And now the only thing left for us to do is adding a couple more buttons. One that redirects people straight over to the cover page and one that will take people to the next one. But the process would be the same, so I'm not gonna waste your time with that. Basically, you're trying to create some sort of carousel here that people can go through one at a time. The longer people stay, the more money you're gonna make. And at this point, you might be wondering how, because I have not mentioned anything about monetizing the website so far but I got you covered. This is where the concept of AdSense arbitrage comes into play. And here's how. Once you publish your Google website, what you can do is actually display Google ads on your site. But the crazy part is that instead of having them displayed on the website and ruining people's experience, what you can do is only display them whenever people click on that link. In other words, if people click on that button that says next, there is a very high likelihood they will be redirected to an ad first and then to the website. What you're basically doing here is that you're helping other brands get more exposure. You're promoting their products and services on your website and you're getting paid for that. But how are we gonna generate traffic for our site in the first place? How are we gonna get people to our website? Well, this is precisely where AdSense Arbitrage comes into play. What you can do is purchase some other form of ads, and I'm talking about Pinterest ads, Facebook ads, TikTok ads, and drive people straight over to your webpage. All you gotta do is keep people engaged as long as they watch and they keep going through those different slides. Every once in a while, they will see an ad, a Google ad, and you're getting paid for those. And as long as you can keep a profit with this process, you're good to go. This is a literal passive stream of income. You don't have to sell any products. You don't have to be actively involved. Once you have successfully built that website and you've made sure to create a high quality article, all you gotta do is drive people to that website. The more people you drive, the more ads will be displayed and the more money you're making. It is a fairly straightforward process, isn't it? And at the end of the day, it is all about doing the math correctly and keeping a profit off of that arbitrage opportunity that you've just found on the market. In very simple words, you're buying Pinterest ads, Facebook ads tiktok ads for a very low price and getting paid slightly better through google ads that is what the process is all about and as you could see you do not need to be a genius or a website developer a professional software engineer to make this happen all you gotta do is drag and drop some pictures create an engaging article and you are good to go now as you might expect the profit margins are not going to be outrageous but you can keep a solid profit and it's all a numbers game but over a long enough period of time, you can keep a considerable profit margin. We're talking about a few hundred dollars per month or even a few thousand dollars if you're looking to invest a lot of money into these Pinterest or Facebook ads. But there are also a lot of things that can go wrong when it comes to Google ads. These are quite unpredictable. And so I would start with a very low amount. But the bottom line is this. You've now got all the resources you need to make it work. All you gotta do is take action. That's it for now and thanks for watching.